everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm doing another ginormous Pretty Little Thing haul. So once again, the lovely people over at Pretty Little Thing sent me some stuff to show you guys because you loved my last Pretty Little Thing haul. So I don't know how much it was this time, I'm sure it'll be in the title. But I picked up some pretty awesome stuff that I can't wait to show you guys. As there was in the last video, there will be some try-on clips that will come up just over here so you can see what everything looks like on. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So like last time, I'm going to start out with shoes. And the first pair of shoes are these awesome like cowboy western boots in a sick white colour. I really wanted a pair of white boots and I saw these and studying on them was so beautiful. I just thought I had to have them. <laughs> so they're not a very high boot which is great so they're perfect for everyday wear and I just love how unique they are. I mean not many people I see wearing white boots, it's usually black. I know I have a pair of black boots that I wear all the time so I just wanted to mix it up with this pair. The studying on them is beautiful, it's such a great quality. It's a little bit elasticated so they're pretty easy to get into and the faux leather feels amazing as well so I love these boots. The only thing that I don't like is that I wish it was a little bit kind of tighter around the ankle just because I find that's more flattering on me but I mean I still wear them, I still think they're pretty awesome so love these pair of booties. And the other pair of shoes I have is this kind of sock boot stiletto heel. I mean, it is basically just a sock over a pair of pumps. Um, I mean, it's very nicely made. It's like got the heel here, which is a nice suede material, and the sock part's all nicely tucked into the shoe. So it is really nicely made, but this part isn't very thick, so you can kind of like see through it a little bit when you wear it. It's not like the most noticeable thing ever, but I wish it was a tiny bit of a thicker material because it is basically just a sock. So it is the definition of a sock boot, but I have always wanted a pair of these that's nice and tight around the ankle, which is why I was drawn to these. Because it is a sock, it's obviously going to be nice and tight around your leg, which is what I wanted in a sock boot. So. It does look super flattering, really pretty, they're not super hard to walk in either, so love these. So the next thing, there's not really any point in me holding up because you won't be able to tell what it is. <laughs> it is a camel like trench coat, I'll obviously insert the try on here. I might also insert pictures of the models wearing everything so you can see that as well. So it is just a trench coat, it is a very lightweight kind of felt fabric, so it's not very thick at all, which is good because, as I say in every video, it is not cold here in Brisbane, it hardly ever gets super cold, so you don't really need a thick trench coat or anything, so this is perfect for me. It's also perfect for that transition phase between summer and winter, winter and summer, so yeah, I love this one. And it's just a nice basic trench in a beautiful camel collar, I've always wanted a coat like this, so I saw it and I was like need that one. So next thing I have is a accessory and it is a belt and it's a belt with this kind of eyelet studding and it's really long because you kind of wrap it around twice so it's a double wrap belt if I can do it. So it is like a double wrap belt here so you can't really wear it with pants like with loopholes on your jeans because it kind of doesn't fit. I tried, it's really annoying. So it is just like a waist belt or something that doesn't have like normal size loopholes. You'd need a pant with like big size belt loops. Um, but I've always wanted a belt that has this eyelet detailing because I think it looks really cool. It just adds something a little bit extra to your classic black belt and I love belts for cinching in the waist. So I saw this one and I had to pick it up and I thought it was really unique with the double wrap. So love this belt here. And sticking on the accessories train, I also picked up a pair of sunnies which are these super cute cat eye sunnies. Cat eyes don't really suit me. I mean, I'll try them on, you can kind of see. They suit me if I wear them like low like this, but if I put them right up to my face, I just feel like they look a bit silly on me. I mean, you might tell me differently. If everyone says that I look good in these, then I'll wear them, but I feel like right up on my nose they don't look that good. I have to wear them 
kind of low so I, you can see my eyes out of them. I don't really know why, I just don't really like them all the way up like this. Um, but I really liked them because they were like a flat. I have a pair but they kind of like curve. But these ones are flat all the way across which I think is a little bit more flattering. So I did pick these ones up which are super cool and they're really comfortable to wear as well. And the final little accessory I have is a beret. It's in this gorgeous burgundy shade and I'm obsessed with berets at the moment. My boyfriend doesn't agree, he thinks that they're a bit weird but I think they are super cute. I mean, they're not gonna look, it's not gonna look good on me right now because I have a bun. I'm obsessed with them. I have like a camel colored one and I saw this one and I thought it would look super cute. It's a nice wintry shade. So we're now moving into autumn in Australia. So I thought this one would be perfect and I think it'll go really nicely with that camel coat as well. So I picked up this one. They have some other colors on their website as well if you wanted to check them out. So next is the jumper that I'm currently wearing. It's just like a crop crew neck jumper. Really comfy. I really love the color. Also, sorry if you can see my sports bra. It was too comfy for me to take off. So decided to leave it on. <laughs> so this jumper is a really nice color. It's kind of just like a creamy beige color. I thought it would go with everything. I don't have a jumper in this color. So I saw it and I thought it would look beautiful so I picked it up and it's a really nice material, it's really soft inside, it has that kind of like cut off distressed edge so it's like you've just cut off the jumper yourself which I love and I really love how high the neckline is as well, that's my favourite kind of neck for a jumper like this. So love this one, I think it'll go with everything, definitely a great pickup and they also have lots of colours of these as well. So the next thing I have is this pair of camo pants. Now I'm not totally in love with these unfortunately, the material's just a bit weird, it's kind of like a thin like cotton, it's just like really thin and like kind of stiff almost. Like. They're nice and lightweight, which is good. If you're wanting to wear camo pants or like that, that um, utility pants trend to like a festival, something where you're gonna be really hot, these would be perfect because they're really lightweight. But I don't know, they just feel a little bit funny. So I'm not a big fan of these, but my brother does really like them. So I am just gonna give them to him for him to wear. So he will like those. It also has like a little elasticated bit around the bottom. Belt loops as well if you want to wear a belt with it and I mean the pattern is really lovely. It's a really nice colour scheme and everything but just not 100% sold on the fabric so I am just going to gift these ones to my brother. So next up we have a pair of jeans. Now I love my jeans. I love collecting jeans. I wear jeans all the time. So these ones I thought were really cool because they're a little bit baggy and they have this huge distressing at the kind of knee area and also distressing on the bottom as well. I'm not 100% sold on the fit of these. The knee rips don't go over my knees. I can't remember if they were supposed to on the website or not, but they're just a little bit too high for my knees personally. I don't know if that's just because I have long legs or something, but they don't sit exactly on my knees. But obviously, if they're not supposed to, then that's fine. I just can't remember. Um, so there's that. And also, it doesn't fit as like tight on my butt and like around my inner thigh as I would like it to. Um, it just kind of makes me look a little bit frumpy around the butt and the inner thighs. So don't love them for that. But I do really love the quality of the denim. They feel like such great quality and they also feel like kind of worn in like they're a vintage pair that you've picked up at an op shop like they're I don't know how to explain it they just feel like they've been worn in which I really like as well and I love the distressing on them but yeah not a hundred percent sold on these but I mean I will still wear them they are still super pretty next up is this ribbed bodycon dress with like a tie-up waist I, there's no point me showing it because you can't really tell what it looks like until you see it on up here um, it is like a one shoulder, so it goes off the shoulder and the sleeve also has a bit of a flare as well, which I really love. And the colour of this is just beautiful. It's like a burnt orange burgundy, like light burgundy colour. It's really pretty and I love how it has the tie waist, so you can really cinch the waist in as well. And I love that, but... I think because of my boobs, it just doesn't sit quite right, it kind of like falls down a little bit on the like no shouldered side. So I mean I can make it work, you've probably also seen a picture of it on my Instagram which I'll leave up here. 
um, I will make it work. You probably just need some tape to make sure it stays there in place. It's because it's such like a lightweight ribbed material, it's not like super like suctiony and tight to your body. So that's why it's just slipping down on my boob just a little bit, but I'll make it work because it looks really nice. So as you would have seen in my last Pretty Little Thing haul, I tried their active wear. So this time I wanted to try out their swimwear. So I got this set, which is a kind of retro high waist red set. So these are the bottoms, as you can see, they are super high waisted. And then the top is kind of just like a exercise bra style top, which I really love because they're super supportive for my boobs. I really love these. They're quite a good quality material. They're not like the thickest bikini material ever, but they are really good quality. My only problem, and I don't know if this is just like my pair or what, because the material's kind of the same, but like the colours just on the top and the bottom just isn't exactly the same. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but the bottoms are a bit more light and orange and then the top is like a true red. You probably won't be able to tell when it's on, but like, I don't know, it's just a little bit weird because they were sold kind of as a set, like they were sold as if they matched, so I don't really understand why they're not like the same fabric. Maybe it has something to do with being a top versus a bottom, they're a slightly different fabric, but anyway. They're really flattering and they look really good on, so I will still wear them, but yeah, just a little bit weird that they're not exactly the same colour or fabric style. Something to keep in mind, but I mean, you probably can't really tell on anyway, so whatevs. <laughs> and the last thing I have, which is my favourite thing, is a bit of a set. They're not exactly a set because they're not like the same material, but they like kind of go together. So the first thing is this crop top which is in the same style as like the bikini top and it's kind of like a, I don't know, like a thick, it's like neoprene but not, if that makes sense. <laughs> I love how it looks, I love the style of top on me and how it fits and everything. My only problem is, I don't know why, but the zip doesn't want to stay like up. Like whenever I move around or bend over, the zip kind of like slips down a bit. Like, I don't know if you can see, like if I were to move too much and I pulled it, the zip as you can see kind of just comes undone a little bit. I might just have to stitch on one of those clasp things just so it stays up because I really love the way that it fits. So I'll see if I can do that and um, yeah, really love the fit of that top. And to go with it, I have this Bodycon Maxi Skirt. It's super long, it goes all the way down to my ankles basically, and it's a really lovely material. It's very stretchy, but like not see-through at all, and I'm obsessed with the combo. I've never worn anything like it, but I think it looks super flattering and amazing. I'm obsessed. So I can't wait to wear that one out. I might do it today if I go out tonight. Um, and I'll make sure to get some pictures in it so you can see it kind of all together because you can't really tell what it looks like all together in the try on clip So make sure to get some pictures for you guys So that is everything that I got from Pretty Little Thing this time I love filming these haul videos So make sure to let me know down below if you loved them and you want to see some more because they're so fun to film And I really love filming haul videos and watching haul videos because it's so hard to tell what something looks like in real life so I think it's always super helpful to check out a haul before you buy something and that's why I love like collaborating with Pretty Little Things so I can show you heaps of stuff so you can really see what everything looks like on my body. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment down below what your favourite piece was from this haul and anything that you'd like to see styled on my Instagram as well. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!